Good afternoon. This is Kevin Larson, Vice President here at New Earth. So grateful to have you here for today's Healthy Hustle. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, and thanks for being here. Today, we're going to talk about enzymes, but not just any enzymes. Today, we're specifically going to be focusing on a special type of enzyme known as proteolytic enzymes. So, proteolytic enzymes, what are those? Well, they're also known as proteases, right? A special type of metabolic enzyme that make up the vast majority of the enzymes inside your body. Uh, as metabolic enzymes, right, proteases like pepsin and trypsin assist with a variety of bodily functions, things that you need to operate every day for this, this machine to keep working. The most commonly known function of proteolytic enzymes is to facilitate the digestion of proteins. So proteases that function as digestive enzymes are produced by the stomach and pancreas, and they quickly get to work helping to break down proteins from the foods that you consume, right? These, these enzymes take those proteins, which are just long chain amino acids, and break them down into shorter fragments known as peptides. These enzymes don't stop there though. They then take those peptides and break them down even further until they are in their simplest form, which is essentially free amino acids. And these amino acids are then absorbed by the cells of the intestinal wall so they can be put to work elsewhere in the body. Now this whole process is known as proteolysis. I oh, know it's a tough one, proteolysis. And it must occur in order for your body to create new cells. Which brings us to the next function of these enzymes, cell division. Your body is made up of trillions of cells. And on average, these cells have a lifespan of seven to 10 years. Depends on a lot of different things, right? In order to keep you up and running and in order to keep up with this turnover of cells, your cells are working hard every day to divide and create new cells to replace those that you might be losing. And proteolytic enzymes are crucial to that process. Without getting too deep into the science of it all, here are the basics, right? The cell division process requires some very specific types of proteins. The process of proteolysis works to regulate the amounts of these proteins available at any given time. So essentially, this means that proteolytic enzymes work to ensure that your cells have enough, but not too much, of the proteins they need in order to divide. They give them what they need, when they need it, no more, no less. So, in addition to assisting with cell division process, proteolytic enzymes also support your body's natural immune response, right? Many pathogens that your body encounters that get into you, right, behave like proteins, which means they can be deactivated in the same way. So this is where proteases come to the rescue. They can break up these protein-like pathogens that are in your system so your body can properly remove them and dispose of them. All right, last but certainly not least, proteolytic enzymes can also help speed up muscle recovery and reduce soreness. And they do that through, you know, very much the process we've been talking about, right? We are all familiar with that feeling of being sore after a workout. And while some soreness after a workout is good, there's no doubt that intense soreness can limit your muscle function for a while. 
including proteolytic enzymes in your pre- and post-workout routine, can reduce the amount of muscle tenderness experienced after a workout and help you recover your muscle function a lot faster. This makes sense when you think about it. Remember how I explained earlier that proteases break down proteins into amino acids, right? Well, those amino acids are the building blocks of your muscles and tissues. So that means that Proteolytic enzymes help supply your body with the amino acids it needs to repair and build your muscles post-workout, which in turn helps decrease your recovery period after strenuous exercise. Really cool stuff, proteolytic enzymes. And if you're interested in discovering how they can make your body continue to thrive, we're going to be talking about this some more in our next episode of The Healthy Hustle. And we'll talk a little bit about how to make sure that your body is getting plenty of these proteolytic, proteolytic enzymes in your diet. So I'll be breaking that down for you in the next episode. So be sure to tune in to The Healthy Hustle, where we will continue our discussion on proteolytic enzymes. Thank you very much for joining me today. And we will talk to you again on the next one.